So it's a new month, which means it's a new color in my planner. I just finished writing my list for today. So it is 1.48 and I'm about to jump on the second Starship chat of the day. Our first one is at 11 a.m. Eastern Time and our second one is at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. And I love it. Hey, so what I've been thinking about this week is something that came up in the Starship chat earlier this week. A captain was saying that she went to a retreat and she had a great time over the weekend, but she'd just been blah all week long. She asked, do you have a way of getting over this quicker? Do you have a way of recovering faster? I feel like I'm just useless this week because I went to this event and this retreat and I just came home and I'm exhausted. And I've been thinking about this because everybody spoke up and said, the answer is to schedule in recovery time, to know it's gonna take a while to recover. And my reply to it was that I've been doing this for years. I've been teaching publicly and traveling and being in front of people since 2013, and I always struggle with this when I get home. I have not found a way to make recovery any faster. So it doesn't matter if I nap when I'm there, if I've spent lots of time by myself, or if I work, or if I go out to every meal, or I stay in for every meal, it's always the same. Whether it's big travel or it's little travel, um, I do a thing that is only like 45 minutes away from my house, but it's the being with people, especially especially as an introvert. When you go an extrovert, either at a craft show or a retreat or a conference or you're teaching or you're just attending, um, it always takes the same amount of time to recover. That's what I figured out. And I think I'm going to just be okay in like a day or two, but it always takes longer. And I kind of think about it with this metaphor, which... We'll show you kind of how weird I am. But uh, the metaphor I use is that there's like a guy in my head who has to file all new information that comes in. And usually he like does his filing while I'm sleeping. But when I have an event that was a lot more info packed into one day than I usually have, and that might be like new information like I'm learning, or it might be conversations that I have where I'm like clicking with somebody and like having that great back and forth, or it might be when I'm teaching and I've prepared and I like have to take all that energy that it takes to stand up in front of people, which I love, by the way. I find it super fun, but it does take energy. When I have a day like that that's intense and packed, and especially if you're traveling and you're experiencing like trying to navigate to where you're going or figure out where you're supposed to be or you're setting up your booth and then you're being friendly to everybody who walks up, then that filing process at the end of the day where I'm kind of like putting everything away and sorting through it and remembering it, that takes longer. So instead of just doing it while I'm asleep, it takes a little guy who's doing the filing like several days to get through it. And if I rush that, if I jump right into a new project or I jump right into a new event, then what happens is I actually forget big important things. I forget conversations I had. I forget people I met. I forget the things that I was trying to remember. It doesn't give me time to process and actually learn from whatever the experience it was. So I heartily recommend you take some time, you schedule in two days to a week of recovery time. Now that might mean sitting and watching TV and just listening to podcasts and knitting, or it might be um, active recovery, like going on walks or talking with friends or making notes about what you learned and creating plans. That's actually what I do when I come back from a conference. I spend a couple days look, going through my notes, generating a plan from it, putting it in Asana, which is my task management system, talking to people about what we're going to do next. Um, and also, it just might be totally being alone, not doing anything, vegging out, reading a novel or something. There is a whole spectrum of ways you can recover. You need to find the things that generate the most recovery for you. For me, it's a process of a day or two of just like blah, laying around, and then actually a day or two of thinking through what happened, what I want to learn, putting people's emails in my email stuff, and before I get back to idea generation. So I'm not saying you're not working during this recovery period. For me, often I'm still recording the podcast or I'm answering my emails, but what I'm not doing is generating new ideas. I'm not creating new classes or listing new products or getting in the studio and working in your case when you make a product and that's okay. It's okay. The reason why I want to talk about it here with you guys today is because several of the people that were in that chat said, I'm so glad to hear you say this. I just really thought I was like failing at something or that it's not possible to have a business and be this much of an introvert and need this rec much recovery. But it is 
you're not alone. I can do it. Lots and lots of people who have creative businesses are also introverts and also need this recovery time or just feel overwhelmed by all the interaction and the energy. So you're definitely not alone in that. And um, I mentioned that this came up in the Starship chat. So if you're curious about the Starship, it's going to reopen in about a week. It opens just once a quarter. Soon it might be even less than that. So if you're interested in attending a chat like this, having access to forums and all my classes, go to tarasweiger.com slash starshipbiz to sign up to learn more. You'll get to meet some of the captains. You'll get to learn about if it's for you or not. It's totally free to sign up, tarasweiger.com slash starshipbiz. And I just want to thank you for joining me here. That is my weekly lesson. I would love to hear what you're learning this week in your business. <music>